In response to Jon Snow's death at the hands of mutineers led by Alyssa Thorne, Edison Tollett leaves to find Tormund and the wildlings and get their help in the coming struggle for their lives against Thorne and his men. After Ed finds him, Tormund leads the wildlings to attack Castle Black. Once inside, Tormund quickly kills a brother who attacks him, and with help from one one, who throws another against the wall, the rest surrender without a fight. After the mutineers are detained, Tormund examines Jon's body, then asks Davos to burn it as quickly as possible to avoid reanimation as a white. However, Sir Davos Seawith believes that he could be resurrected naturally by the Red Priestess, Melisandre. However, when she attempts to resurrect Jon, and is the first to leave the room when she seemingly fails, seconds before Jon awakens in a delayed reaction. When Jon awakens and is clothed by Davos, Tormund sees Jon coming from the room and explains that the wildlings think that he is a god. Tormund then remarks how he knows Jon isn't a god as no god would have a penis as small as his. He proceeds to hug Jon and welcomes him back. Tormund later watches the execution of the mutineers in the crowd. When Sansa Stark arrives at Castle Black with Brienne of Tarth and Podrick Payne, a surprised Tormund can't stop staring at Brienne, then witnesses Sansa's reunion with Jon, her half-brother. Tormund later shares a meal with Jon, Sansa, Brienne, Podrick and Ed. As he eats, Tormund gives Brienne a flirtatious glance. When Jon reads a letter from Ramsay Bolton, Tormund stops eating and listens intently, visibly angered at Ramsay's threats to the wildlings. Tormund asks Sansa how many men Ramsay has. Sansa claims he has around 5,000, and Tormund tells Jon that from the thousands of wildlings they saved from Hardhome, only 2,000 are able to fight. Tormund attends a war council with Jon, Sansa, Davos, Brienne, Podrick and Ed, concerning the northern loyalists that will fight for House Stark. He remains silent while listening to Jon, Sansa and Davos's strategies. While leaving Castle Black, Tormund again gazes at Brienne with lust, leaving Brienne uneasy. Tormund is present as Jon attempts to convince Dim Dalba to join his cause, along with the remaining wildling forces. Dim suggests that Jon is violating the original agreement, as the free folk were not required to fight the Boltons. Jon insists that if his army is defeated, the Boltons, Karstarks, and Umbers will inevitably march on the free folk settled in the gift. Tormund reminds Dim that Jon died for them and exclaims that if they were not willing to do the same for him, they were cowards, and they deserve to be the last free folk. One One stands up and proclaims, Snow, confirming his allegiance. Consequently, Dim and the Wildlings agree to join Jon and Sansa's campaign to recapture Winterfell for House Stark. After the meeting, Tormund assures Jon that the Wildlings will be present at the battle. He does so by reminding Jon that the free folk aren't as manipulative as Southerners, and that they will keep their word. Prior to the battle, Tormund attends the parley between Jon Snow and Ramsay Bolton. Sansa refuses Ramsay's terms of surrender and the Stark party returns to their camp. That night, Tormund is a part of Jon's war council where he cautions Jon of Ramsay's cavalry that would tear the wildling forces apart. Tormund and Davos leave the tent and discuss their current situation. Tormund believes there is hope for a victory as the Boltons have never fought the free folk. They discuss their experiences serving kings and Tormund reminds Davos that Stannis burnt Mance, a man unworthy of the fate he suffered. Tormund reaffirms to Davos that he believed in Mance, just as Davos believed in Stannis. Davos suggests that perhaps their mistake was placing their faith in kings. Tormund reminds him that Jon is not a king and offers Davos a jug of sour goat's milk. Davos declines, stating he prefers to walking and thinking in solitude before a battle. During the Battle of the Bastards, Tormund once again fights alongside Jon. After his Rickon is killed, Tormund is concerned that Jon will charge alone. As Jon charges full tilt, Davos gives the command for the Stark cavalry to charge. Tormund leads the infantry that follows. In the midst of the battle, Tormund saves Jon from a Bolton infantryman who almost overwhelms him. Visibly shaken, Jon is helped off the ground by Tormund who ascertains if he is okay. As the Stark forces are surrounded, Tormund repeatedly attempts to break the Bolton Pike phalanx but is ultimately overwhelmed. Pushed beyond his limits, Tormund panics and sends his wildlings towards the Hill of Corpses. This unintentionally causes Jon to be trampled by the stampede, nearly suffocating him. Tormund is confronted by Lord Smallhorn Umber and is soon overpowered by him. 
As the Stark forces are about to lose, the Knights of the Vale arrive, smashing the Bolton forces apart. While Smallhorn is distracted by the charge, Tormund bites his neck, then stabs him, killing him. He, John and 1-1 pursue Ramsay back to Winterfell where 1-1 breaks down the castle gate. As they storm the courtyard, Tormund and John watch in horror as 1-1 succumbs to his injuries sustained during the battle and the siege. Ramsay looses an arrow into the giant's eye, killing him. Tormund uneasily watches as John advances on Ramsay and eventually subdues him. He is later present John with the body of his brother Rickon Stark. Tormund is later present when John is crowned the king in the north. He briefly disputes with Lord Yon Royce, claiming that John invited him and the wildlings south of the wall instead of them invading as Royce believed. Although by now a close friend and ally of John, he stays true to his beliefs and doesn't take part in hailing him king.